welcome back to the channel treasure so today like i promised in my previous video i'll be sharing with us lessons i've learned so far from youtube and also i'll be giving an advice or two to those that want to start youtubing or those that are just starting remember i am also just starting because this is just 365 days and there are still a lot of days to go here on youtube so i'll be sharing the little lessons i've learned in the last one year The first lesson for me is hard work. YouTube have taught me hard work, you know. YouTube, when I was starting YouTube, I didn't know it was hard work. I thought it would just be about me starting. I'll just put my vid, my camera and start. Work. There's a lot of personal development. There's a lot of work you need to put in. But it's also fun if you enjoy doing it. So when you're coming to YouTube, my advice is don't come with that competitive spirit. Maybe that pain, I want to reach my... No, follow the process. Allow the growth that you need. I know how when I started, I couldn't shout. In fact, now I'm still working on the shout. My sister Helen Scott has been helping me. I'm still working on the shouting, trying to be more audible. So there's a lot of work you have to do on yourself. So there is hard work on YouTube, but the hard work is actually fun if you enjoy what you are doing. The second thing I've learned is consistency. Hmm. If you're not consistent on YouTube, you'll just be dormant, and that is the truth. There was a time I was not consistent. In fact, between, will I say, between March to like July, I wasn't consistent because I was having a lot of challenges. In fact, I was surprised when I saw I've uploaded up to 60 something videos on YouTube. I was like, ha, Ada, you're doing well, but. There, you need to be consistent. That does not mean I was consistent. I was just posting. So how are you consistent that work and what I believe I want to do in the next 365 days? So half a day of the week you want to post. At least try and post once, once a week. Number two, have a particular time. Let it be like all this TV, you know when they will do flatmates. If you watch African magic or when they do a particular TV show. So let your channel become something like that. I hope that's what will happen for me in the next 365 days. So I'm also advising myself here. So if you are saying you're uploading every Sunday, you should choose a time, maybe every Sunday by 1 p.m. So that is consistent and that's what YouTube Angel, they are log reading. That's what they want to see and that will help your channel to grow. That's why some channel comes, they start growing because they already understood what required of them then some too also because they jumped on a trend to that see so youtube has taught me constant it has also taught me patience patience you have to be patient i know when i was trying to get to my hundred subscribers i was almost going crazy because youtube was just playing with me today i'm at 80 something tomorrow i'm at 70. another time i'm at 60. i'm like what is happening am i not growing and i see people growing so you just have to be at the point i told myself leave these figures leave these views face what you came to to share on youtube and the other ones will come natural and i want to tell you it will come natural because these few weeks have been consistent i've been seeing subscribers and i was like oh so this is what youtube has been waiting for for me to get consistent if I, one of my friends being real joy judge will say that youtube wants to know whether you are serious you mean business and that's it they don't just want to start um, the algorithm doesn't want to start carrying your channel when they are not yet serious they hardly do that i said you really jumped on a particular trend or in particular pain point that people want, you understand. So it teaches you patience. It also helps you to accept criticism, criticism, <laughs> honorably or gladly, you know. People, are, oh, uh, people have been correcting me, you just create a note, you don't shout. You know? So these things have been things of maybe... If it wasn't YouTube or me wanting to be better, I would have felt bad. But I'm open. Please, just tell me what I need to do and get better so that you will enjoy my content. So that's another thing I've learned on YouTube. The next one is, it has helped me to dare new things, you know. In February, I reacted to two videos. And it was like a tax to me because I'm someone that likes keeping to myself. I don't want to put my mouth in what is happening i just keep my opinion to those close to me but it was my first time reacting and i really enjoyed i think those two videos about mr Macro macaroni and tesca brown are like my favorite videos because i did new things i did things that i'm not so comfortable about and now i'm trying to go back to why i started this channel because this channel is not supposed to be only about health 
It's supposed to be health, lifestyle, parenting, but somehow for the past months I've just been on my comfort zone talking about health. So if you've seen me and um, um, Helen Scorner's recent collaborations, you find out that we've been delving into other things that are really important that people need to really talk about and hear about. So YouTube helps you their new thing. I've learned is that God is also interested. See, everybody that knows me on this channel know that I'm a God lover. So it helps you, you know that God is interested because you pray, you see it, you see after praying, you see video ideas, you film, you find people blessed by the film. So God is also interested on YouTube. So if you're a Christian out there wondering how to start creating content, please, God is interested on YouTube and he's interested in you starting if he's telling you to start so God is really interested then you have a support system have, have a support system YouTube taught me the importance of support system because like I told you that we have a, a family here on YouTube that I belong to and these people have been wonderful they share ideas they correct they they give you thumbs up when you are doing well in fact I don't know what I would have been doing on YouTube without that wonderful family. So you need support system, you need collaborators, you need cheerleaders. So now my advice now, my advice to anyone that wants to start in our family, we also always talk about YouTube is about patience, hard work and prayer. Patience, hard work and prayer. You need plenty of it because you might start your channel today, you won't be growing how you want to. Then you see another person that starts in one month and just gets to 30 subscribers in 30k subscribers in two months it has happened i've seen it happen but just trust your own growth make sure you are working hard you are putting in the work and you find yourself growing another thing is get a support system i've talked about Finally, on this channel, like I said earlier, it's not only about bodies, it's about spirit, soul, and body. So you'll be seeing more contents that won't just be health-based. It could be about personal development, parenting, how to become better. It could also be on how to pray better, how to study your Bible better, and all that. Dr. Bissa's Corner is just my word where I want to share about myself, which is not just about health. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you also have any other suggestions for me on how to get better on this journey, at least in the next one year, please drop them in the comment section. And if you're a YouTuber and you've learned something on YouTube, please can you share with us in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. God bless you. Remember, you are treasured.